Forward list is the small sibling of list. It offers less capabilities, but it also needs less space. Every element only knows its successor, so traversal is only possible in one direction. But if you only need to go in one direction, that's enough. Hi everyone! I decided to explain the standard template library. Over this course we will start from the ground up and cover everything that you need. So if this is interesting to you, stay tuned and subscribe and today we will cover forward list. So let's go. The necessary header for forward list is inside forward list. To declare a forward list, we will use standard and then forward list. And now we can use the type, for instance, an int that our list, list should contain. And then we just declare this by using list. If we want to already put some values inside, we can use the initialize list and for instance if we now want to have one two three inside this list we now have already declared the list with content now let's output whatever is inside and now we can compile the program and see that it's actually working so let's switch to the console and do exactly that and we go here and we compile it using clang and then we execute the program and we see that the result is one, two, three. If you want to add new elements to a list, you only have the possibility to push front because list only knows each successor or the element only knows each successor. You cannot emplace stuff at the end of the list, but just at the beginning. So you can use list push front and append an element to the begin of the list by, for instance, putting now the four at the begin of the list. You can do the same by, uh, by directly constructing it on or in place by using mplace front. And now we will end up with a list which has five, four, and then one, two, three. Another possibility to insert elements is use insert after. This is also different from other containers because now you're only able to insert after a certain element. This is also due to the fact that each element only knows the successor of, um, of it and not what comes before it. So to use insert after you need to have again an iterator, an iterator to one element after which you want to um, in place or after which you want to insert something. So at this point we just use uh, list begin as the iterator and we store this in our iterator and then we can say after the begin of the list we want to insert something and at this point we want to insert six. So to summarize we have here now a list which contains uh, one, two, three at the beginning we put four in front, then we put five in front, and when we put the six after the five, and we will now um, compile this program and see the result. So the result here uh, is exactly the same because I didn't output it. So let's go here and output this once more and compile. And then we see that uh, we will end up with five, six, four, one, two, three, exactly as expected. Erasing elements is basically the same thing as inserting elements. Uh, so it's also offers the same capabilities that, uh, the <clears throat> that the singly linked list has because of the successor thing. So we have the capability to use pop front, which will remove the first element of the list or to use erase after and erase after again expects an iterator to an element of the list so we can just again use the first element as an iterator and we want to delete the element that comes after the first element and in this case we don't need to specify anything else so let's output the list and let's walk slowly walk through what we will expect so at the beginning we had five six in this list and now we remove the first element, so remove the five, and the six is now the first element and remove the element after the six, 
So the four will also be gone. So the list will be six, one, two, three. We go to our console, to the compiler and compile this. Uh, and here we need to give this one a different name. Um, but apparently you already did know that. So recompile and we have here six, one, two, three as expected. So let's have a view at uh, some special operations that you can do with forward list. So for instance, or let's create a new list first uh, where we have some special sort of elements inside. So we use one, two, three, and then we can again use one, two, two. And now we have elements which are not unique. So we have elements inside this list which um, appear multiple times. And um, to get rid of them, list two uh, has this um, unique operator and unique will remove each subsequent element which um, appears more than once. So in this case, it will remove um, the second two in this case. If we want to get rid of all of them, we need to sort the list before. But uh, unique is pretty powerful in removing duplicates that have been inserted after each other. So we will then here output the second list and recompile the prog program. And um, then the second two here will be gone. And we see it's now one, two, three, one, two. So this is really powerful <clears throat> and it saves you a lot of effort. Another really useful thing is to revert the list or reverse the list. Um, reversing the list will just uh, swap the direction of the list. So after reversing, it will be in the um, will be in the opposite order. So we had here one, two, three, one, two, and now it will be two, one, three, two, one. So it will exactly be reversed as the as the word says. Another possibility that you have is to remove um, elements or to uh, remove elements which fit a specific description. So for instance, inside this list, we still have two times the number one. So we can say we want to remove everything that is a one from this list. And this is really useful so you don't need to traverse the list and look whether an element is a one you just say that you want to remove all ones from this list and then afterwards we can output it again and all of the ones here will now be gone and this is as i said it really saves a lot of writing and it's a powerful feature that you should know the last special operation that i want to show is splicing and splicing will basically insert the list at the location of your choice inside a list. So for instance, if you have now list two, you can use splice after, and splice after requires again an iterator. So you can say that you want to splice after a specific or after the beginning, and then you just create an iterator and after this position, where this iterator is pointing to, the content of a second list will be put inside list two. So we can create the third list. And the third list can, for instance, have just 555. Five, five. And then 555 five, five will be inserted after the location of this iterator, of iterator three. So we can again go to the console and recompile this program. And then we will see that 555 is inserted in this specific list. So we need to obviously also output it. And then we will see it. Here we see that it's 255532. And at this point, we have inserted the second list into the first list. So the main benefit of using a forward list is that it uses less space than a normal list. This is due to the fact that every only element only knows its own successor and it doesn't know what comes before it. This means that you also only can traverse the list in one direction. If this is enough for you, forward list is a great way to save some effort. As always, check out the GitHub 
code and uh, try for yourself start your machine and start coding and if you want to learn something else i have here uh, another video that might be very interesting to you so thanks for watching and as always happy coding